See, this new shape, how much of a success do you feel it's been so far? It seems to be working. It's obviously working because <laughs> we've started winning a few games, we've had a few draws and we've looked, uh, I'd say, more solid. Um, it's always a, a shape that we've tried at Gateshead previously um, and it worked for us for about seven or eight games and then we sort of reverted back to a, a back four. So it's one of them that you can toy with a little bit and th if it works, it's great. There's some games that it might not be so, you know, you've got to look at the opposition and say, do we need to change it at times? I think we did it against Berry where we went to a back mm -hmm. four towards the end because we were getting overrun a bit. So, um, but yeah, like you said, at the moment, it's working. Who do you feel have been the big revelations in it? I know people have been impressed with Theo Vassell. Yeah, Theo has adapted well to the position because he's more of a centre half. Um, if you like, he's he's done most of his, I think most of his career as a centre back. He has played at right back, done a little bit of left back, but not really, you know, a wing back. Um, I think he's obviously more defensive than Mitch Clark, so I, I give I think that gives us a good balance uh, in the team because Mitch tends to get forward a lot more than Theo. Uh, but I think Theo's done really well in that position and at times he, he's, he's willing to get forward. Last minute equaliser for Tom Pope, 95 career goals in all competitions. First of all, from an ex striker, how big an achievement is that? I think when he gets to 100, he'll be achieving. I'm only saying that because I scored 100, um, over 100 league goals when I was playing. But no, no, he's done magnificent and I'm sure he'll, he'll surpass that. Um, f and for doing it for one club, I mean, that's immense. I mean, you know, over a career, you sort of do it with five or six clubs when you're a striker. But um, he epitomises uh, everything. You know, a, a Port Vale fan will see what he does for the team, for the club, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. How big a part is he to what you do here? Because you look very, to put it politely, different when he's not in the team. Yeah, there's a lot said about when he doesn't play and or, or even when he does play that was sort of one dimensional at times. And we don't mean to be, it's just um, you've got to play to your player's strengths and his strengths are crosses. So when we get in the final third and we get in good areas, we're always looking to put the ball in the box. And I thought we did that um, uh, on Saturday, a lot of the time, um, and he thrives off that. In other games, if we're not doing that, then you know we're not playing to his strengths, and it's, it's difficult for him. Um, so, yeah, he, he's he's a big player for us. There's no doubt about it. No, you can't see anything else. Everyone else uh, can see it from the outside, and um, and we're trying to get him a little bit more help. You know, whether it's formation-wise or getting more runners round him, we're always working on that part of it, so yeah, he's pivotal to what we're doing. Sunderland next up, it won't be as big for Tom Pope because he's played in front of the TV cameras before, but for some of the younger players in the side, I'm thinking the likes of maybe Ben Whitfield, Luke Hannon, will never have had this opportunity. How big an opportunity is it for them to impress a bigger audience? Well, it's a, it's a big stage for them. Any player you want to play in front of, I think it's, I think it's easier to play in front of big crowds, to be honest. Um, I think when you're playing crowds that are less, I think you can hear, hear more of the negative stuff, if you like. But I think when you've got a big crowd in and the, the noise levels, your concentration levels seem to be more. And hopefully they can thrive on the occasion. Will it have, knowing the team as you do with the character in it, do you expect the fact that a lot of the extra fans will be in the away end to have any kind of part in this game? No, because I think we'll we'll concentrate on our fans. You know, whether they're six, seven, or eight thousand, our own fans between four and five Sunderland. I mean, I think our fans will make enough noise, and I think the Sunderland fans are just, you know, make the, the noise even for their team because they're well supported. Mm -hmm. But from our point of view, hope you know we should have more fans than them, so we should hopefully have the edge. How much chance do you feel you've got? It's a cup tie, you know, I've played in many a cup tie uh, as an underdog and won a few and, you know, lost a few. You you can be a little bit more relaxed if you like because you're not expected to, to win, but we expect to um, give them a good game and on the day if everyone plays their, their best then we've got a chance of winning.